Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm doing a review of the Clever Fox Dotted Journal. Um, I have done a couple of Clever Fox Planner reviews, the Daily, Weekly, and the Budget Planner. I'll include those links down below. The main reason I really like these notebooks, despite being so in band, which I normally avoid, um, are the different color covers and also the bright white paper. So this cover, as you can see, it's so cute with all the little images and it's all indented. You can like touch it, it feels 3D. And they always have a nice range of colors. So this one is the rose gold, but I have seen I think there's about 10 different colors. There's all pink, purple, blue, green, mint, orange, red, um, the usual black if you really want to get that. Although there's so many other colors that are much nicer. Look at this. Love it, love it, love it. And on the spine, there's a little fox printed there, but otherwise it's plain. The page size, I'd say it's around about 1.5 centimeters, maybe like three quarter of an inch thick. Um, and then on the inside, which is the main thing we want to see, obviously, is this nice bright white paper. So I really cannot stand the yucky yellow paper that normally comes with Stonebound notebooks. I much prefer this nice bright white, which love it, as you can see. So you've got a reference at the front here if you like to plan using symbols or colors. And then you can use the contents page for like an index. And they have three, if we just open that, three contents pages. So plenty of room to write. If we go to the dot grid pages, they are all numbered, as you can see. Now, I don't really like how the dot is embedded into the dot grid. I much prefer when they do the full dots across and then sit it below it. I just prefer that because otherwise I find I'm like ruling through the number, which is kind of annoying. Um, anyway, minor con. Really, really love this bright white paper. And as you can see, if I just look to a random spot, the pages are laying flat. If I go somewhere else, they lay flat on their own. Just I find it irritating when some stone bound notebooks just like auto close, but this one is laying flat. There's three ribbon bookmarks in various shades of pink to match the cover. Love when things are coordinated. And now the part where you probably watching this video for the purpose of is the pen test. So I tried all my usual um, gel, fine tip, ballpoint, all those pens, the friction erasable, stamps, highlighters, etc. Now the paper is only, I think it's like 120 GSM, I will double check that and have that linked in the post uh, which will be down below. Um, now this one, I was skeptical because 120 GSM, it's usually like you can see a lot of ghosting. However, if I just zoom in a bit, you can see there's not actually that much ghosting. There is a bit obviously for marker pens and stamps, a little bit for the highlighters, but pens overall weren't too bad. So I was actually quite happy with the paper quality, especially considering the price of the planner of the notebook which um, I'll have all those details in the post which will be linked down below so I'm really happy with this notebook um, overall at the back here we have this sheet of rainbow stickers which they include with their daily and weekly planners as well and I've obviously got a pocket folder to put it in and there is so I'm just doing this awkwardly one-handed and there is this elastic band to keep it all enclosed as well as the little pen loop so I'm quite happy with this notebook, I'd recommend it. Um, the cons, I don't particularly like the embedded uh, page numbers in the dot grid, but apart from that, I think it really does tick all the boxes, so quite happy with it and I would recommend it. I'll have those links to the other Clever Fox Planner reviews linked down below, um, and as well as the pen test if you wanted a closer look, that will also be down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe, I usually post a couple of review videos each week.